Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Apollo being your brand new video. In today's video, I'll be telling you guys the best trick shotting class I have on Modern Warfare 3. So if you guys are new, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Also, 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 please do me a big favor and follow me on Kick. You feel me? We're trying to get verified on there. Most of my other videos, my unset up trick shot series I have going on. I do get all of those moments off of my kick, so please go ahead and follow me on there. And with that being said, that's enough of me yapping. Let's get to it. I can't believe you hated, thought that we was going strong. I can't believe you lied and said you got it on your own. Alrighty guys, so we loaded up Modern for 3, we are here, this is my account, you feel me? If you guys want to add me on Modern for 3, this is my account, info right here. I do play with my viewers, I always get asked, Apollo, 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 do you play with viewers or, viewers or subscribers? Yes, I do, just go ahead and add me on there, and yeah, this is what we're here for. Go to your class setup, you feel me, and we're going to go straight up to our trick shot class. So, off rip, you want to be, so it really depends on, so we're here in the sniper, sniper area. You can really trick shot with any class, I just... If you're playing core unset up, it really depends on hardcore. On hardcore, you can use any freaking sniper you want. But this is for the people who play no, without two boxes, who doesn't play hardcore and stuff like that. It's strictly if you play core, you feel me? You want to use the cap. Don't use any other sniper, bro. You use any other sniper, your hit marker on me. People talking about people hit with the victus, you feel me? You're most likely getting a hit marker with the victus, bro. On me, you're most likely getting a hit marker. We're here for the best trick shotting class. So we're gonna use the cat. You want the cat, and here's the attachment do I use. So you wanna use the Zang 34 barrel. I just use this, you know, damage range and bullet velocity. That's literally why. Cause I can hit cross maps, you feel me, and not fucking hit marker. The likeliness of me hit marker with the cat is a 2%, you feel me? But anyway, you want that barrel on, then you wanna, so when it comes to the laser, there's depth, everybody has their personal, personal, uh, personal reference i've seen people use all types of lasers and this is the one that i use that suited for me this is what helped me started hitting shots on the game more consistently i used to run the f-tac rimline laser all the fucking time when the game first came out after the this recent update that they did where um basically your hip fire whatever like wherever your uh bosses are if you hit fire like whenever you shoot your bullets you really just go straight not go straight but like but before when the game first came out whatever when you your crosshairs used to move you feel me Whenever you're spinning, your crosshairs used to move, and I think they patched it or whatever. And now your crosshairs kind of stay straight, and your bullet pretty much goes wherever your crosshair is looking at. You. But for me, I use the Crovis Peck Beam. That's the one that I've hit the most shots with. I had F Tag Grimline lasers since the game came out, and I've only been able to hit like three shots. Ever since I switched to this laser, I've been hitting consistent bangers back to back to back. So I recommend using this laser. I'm just saying, that's just me. That's my personal preference. People usually use. Other people use the um the Verdance or Verdant. People use this one too. I've seen people hit bangers with this one too, and I've seen people hit with Pro Sapphire Box. But I feel like with the Pro Sapphire Box laser, it, I feel like you have to literally shoot directly on. Like you have to be, you have to be like, your crosshairs have to literally be on as hell in order for your bullet to hit with that. That's how I feel, and I feel like with the Pro the Crovis or whatever, you can kind of shoot a little bit off, and your bullet can still most likely hit if that makes sense i used a tactical stock pad so i can ads faster because the cat is moving so slow bro We're, compared to the other snipers the cat is the slowest sniper to fucking it's so slow so in order to you know compete with people beaming me with mcws and other guns in this game i have to put that on we have the phantom grip on for you know more sprint to fire and ads speed because again when you're getting beamed by mcws and other guns on this game bro you, and you have the cat out like ads and the, the ads and sprint to fire is so important and this is the most important part ammunition bro you want to have mono or armor piercing on people are like again it's just like the laser conversation bro people use armor piercing people use mono is a personal preference me personally I vouch for mono because I've hit marker plenty of times with armor piercing. Ever since I switched to mono, I have not, let me knock on some wood, I have not fucking hit marker any, any wall bang, if that makes sense, since I freaking used mono. When I was using armor piercing, I hit marker my quarry, uh, two piece hit, my, it was a quarry two piece hit marker. I hit marker something else, I'll probably show it on the screen right now if I still have the clip. I don't know where that fucking, no! Oh my god! No! Two piece! Two piece! Two piece. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking hate. <laughs> you fucking hate. Ever since I switched to mono, I've hit no, I've hit the thickest wall bang on this game, bro. That terminal on terminal, you know, terminal on B side. You feel me? Where the TV is actually. I hit the thickest shit. I'd like to hit that. Oh! It does it! It does it! It does it! It does it! Got it! Got it! Got it! Oh my 
up with Mono on, and I hit a quarry wall bang just recently. Oh my god! Oh my god! Stop! Double take Mono on the fucking fire! Some of you guys will see that later. Anywho, that's besides the point. Mono is the way. This is the cat. This is the cat, bro. This is what you want to use, bro. Everything you see here, you want the again the Zan 34 barrel. You want the Probus Peg Beam 5, but the tactic, tactical stock pad, Phantom Grip, and Mono, bro. That's that's all I use on my freaking cat. And then when it comes to your secondary, it really depends on the type of shot you want to go for. Me, if you want to go for a pistol swap, I'll say um you can go for it. You can use this. You can use this pistol. I'm not even gonna read it because I'm not gonna sit here and embarrass myself for you guys. And it's just a cool little animation. Let's go. There you oh, go. Someone hit. Someone let's hit. Let's fucking go. go. Let's go, dude. Let's fucking go. Yes. Oh my god, you're Hello. goaded. Let's go. Oh, nice, let's dude. fucking go. Ooh. You can use any secondary you want. Another easy um secondary you can use. You can use any melee we melee weapon. Melee weapon. You use, they all have cool, pretty much cool animations. Right now, I'm trying to hit with this. There's the karambits. You feel me? That's the can swap. And then if you just inspect it, it does the double flip thing. And you, if you hold it long enough. When you wait long enough, it does uh this boom 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 and it flips. Cool animation, you feel me? And you can swap back and go for your shot, stuff like that. And then for your tactical, again, it doesn't really matter. Usually I use stuns, but right now I use the scatter mine because I like to do uh instead of silent shotting and throwing my knife by accident, I kind of use the scatter mine. Just to be diverse, you feel me? I use the scatter mine. And um here's a nice little glitch or whatever. When you put a scatter man down or whatever. For example, if you put two C4s on top of it, whenever a guy like or an enemy runs by it, it they explode. No matter if they got EOD on or anything, it's like an automatic C4 without you tr pressing the trigger, bro. I've been using it lately. I'm not gatekeeping it. I don't know how I find it. I just put these two combos on together and I put them down one day and it's just been working for me. So, yeah, if you put the mine down and then put two C4s next to it, or like one on top of it and then one next to it whenever some it's like a trip mine it turns into a trip mine i use a deployable shield um when it comes to you want to have so this is very important very important you want to have if you're using pistols or a melee weapon you want to have quick grip gloves on so you can swap weapons faster that is key bro if you don't have these gloves on you are not able to swap weapons fast enough and well you can and it's going to be hard for you to shoot like to shoot right after without that like if you had like scavenger on for example if you press y to swap back to your sniper you will have to bring out your stun or some med you have to bring out a tactical in order for you to insta shoot right after that but if you don't have that's if you don't have a quick gear gloves on if you do have it on you don't have to worry about that you can shoot regular you can you know swap one and then just hit you feel me i recommend using climbing boots on certain maps quarry or a high rise or a scrap quarry. that's where i need to climb shit to get on top of a trick shot i use climbing boots because so i don't have to the one i can get up faster and i don't get peeled by the enemy you feel me it, it just it just saves me it saves you so much time and it saves you from dying from the enemy but i usually use climbing boots or covert sneakers i used to use lightweight when glitches were still a thing but glitches are not a thing anymore so covert sneakers on regular maps and stuff like that so people don't hear me running up on them and shit like that i use ghosts consistently bro especially in snd bro snd people calling uavs all the time and i'm not trying to sit there and waste my time shooting the uav down when i can just run the ghosts and they will never see me you feel me so yep this is uh these are the perks I use. These are like all my classes usually have those perks on, unless I'm doing a fake knack. And if you guys want to know how to fake knack and stuff like that, I do have a tutorial. I already made a tutorial on there and I put it up right here. When it comes to settings, sensitivity, fake knacking, instant inspects, and stuff like that, it's in this video right here. So please check that out if you guys have not seen that already. This video is pretty much straightforward. I know I did a lot of yapping, bro, but, but I was just trying to, you know, explain to you. Explain to the ones who don't know. Because a lot of the things, like, a lot, when it comes to trick shotting in this community, a lot of people like to gatekeep stuff. And if y'all know me, I don't like to gatekeep shit. I'm trying to put it on, and that's what it, this is what the community is all about. Trying to inspire others. A new generation to come on to you know to keep trick shotting alive you gotta inspire the new generation but right now it's just a bunch of old ass still in the community still spinning in circles and i'm one of those i you know mean but i'm sure to inspire so yeah with that being said i hope you guys did enjoy this video i know it's short kind of simple i did a lot of yapping but it was for the people who don't know and um yeah with that being said it's been your boy apollo please 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 again leave a like comment and subscribe it helps out so much also follow me on kick again and with that being said i'll catch you on the next one peace